Welcome back. As students prepare to return to the classroom on Monday to sit end of year exams, many are wondering if any changes will be seen for the 2021 school start. Our Kelsey Johnson caught up with Ministry of Education officials for an update. The health requirements for enrollment into the public school system has not changed and a student's immunization record will still be accepted. Concerns regarding the enrollment of new students and students transferring to another school were raised as health and safety measures continue to be placed at the forefront in this COVID environment. While some are saying a health visa should replace the immunization record, Director of Education Marcellus Taylor shared his views. But you don't need to go to the food store, you don't need to go to church, you don't need to go to other places locally. Um, I guess if the situation gets to the point where it's needed and health determines that that would, would be needed, then of course we'd have to comply. It's not something that we are planning, it's not something that we, it's in our remit to um, require. And um, I'm hoping that it doesn't come to that, but if health determines that that is what has to happen, then we'll comply. Students are expected to return to the classroom in some schools on Monday to sit end of year exams. Taylor said some schools have opted to do face to face exams, while others will still use the various virtual platforms. For those students who will be sitting the exams from home, Taylor had this to say. We want the parents to ensure that the students, you know, uh, are exercising integrity when they sit the exams, and the parents also don't interfere with the progress. Um, you know, leave your child alone and let them do their test by themselves. Um, but, you know, we, we, we appreciate, we know it's a lot. Um, we appreciate um, the effort that many parents have made. Those parents who are not making the full effort, we encourage you to try and do so. We only have one more week, which is the week uh, with these assessments, and then you'll be able to get a little break. Um, and, you know, hopefully if the numbers of COVID-19 cases could remain low, um, we'd be able to go back to face-to-face. -to -face. Education officials say some parents may be reluctant to send their children back to school to take the exams. But, and unless your child really has a greatly compromised immune system, um, we are confident that we'll be able to um, indiscriminately determining that your child um, shouldn't take the test is your choice, but you know, I mean, they cannot then get the grades that reflect um, someone who participates. So they would have to get, you know, whatever assessment scores that reflect a person who doesn't participate. So, I mean, there's just consequences for particular actions. You can make any choice you wish, but if they don't participate, if we don't have a score for them, we can't give them an A or whatever grade you think they should get. Campus safety measures and proper protocols will be fully enforced. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Network News.